In this video lesson, we will rewrite polynomial expressions in equivalent forms. To do so, we will be finding greatest common factor of a polynomial and using the distributive property. In this first video lesson, we are going to be finding the greatest common factor. So let's take a look at some examples of doing exactly that. All right, so here are three problems that we're going to work through. And again, it says factor the greatest common factor out of the following polynomials. All right, so number one says negative 5x minus 30. All right, we can factor out or take out a, uh, the greatest common factor of both 5 and 30. So you want to consider what are the factors of 5 and what are the factors of 30. And what do they have in common? Well, the factors of 5 are really just 1 and 5. But 5 is also a factor of 30. So therefore, we can actually take out the 5. Now, because this is a negative 5x and a minus 30, we could actually take out a negative 5. So when we do that, we're going to factor out a negative 5. That means, in parentheses, we're going to put what is remaining. Well, to get back to negative 5x, we would need to multiply it times x. And then negative 5 times what equals negative 30? Well, that would be positive 6. So we would have x plus 6 inside the parentheses. And that is actually how we factor out the greatest common factor. All right, let's take a look at another example. Here we have 8x squared minus 2x. First thing you want to notice is that both of these have an x. So they have an x in common. So that's part of the greatest common factor. Now, when you think of 8 and 2, obviously 2, the only factors of 2 are 1 and 2, so the largest possible or the greatest common factor possible would be 2. And 2 does go into 8. Both 8 and 2 are even numbers, so we're going to take out the 2 and an x. Now because this 8x squared is positive and this is a negative or a minus 2x, we can't take out the negative unless they're both negative. So we're going to take out a 2 and an x. Well, once we do that, what remains in the parentheses is what the what we have to multiply to get back to these terms. All right? So, 2x goes into 8x squared how many times? Or what do we have to multiply by to get back to 8x squared? Well, 2 goes into 8 4 times. So we would need to multiply times 4. But we also took out 1x, but 1x was remaining. So we have a 4x. So 2x minus 4x is 8x squared. Now we have to make 2x into negative 2x. Well, we just multiply times negative 1, or bring down your minus sign, and then 2x goes into 2x, 1 time. So we can simplify this binomial 8x squared minus 2x into 2x times 4x minus 1. And then again, that is in its most simplified form. All right, this last example here, 45x squared minus 30x plus 75. We have three terms. We call this a trinomial. And we're looking for the greatest common factor of 45, 30, and 75. Now, this 30 is a minus 30x, but since they're not all negative, we're not going to be able to take out a negative. Okay? But 45, 30, and 75 have a greatest common factor. Okay? You could start with, with 5, 
because five does go into all of these, but the greatest common factor of these is 15. 15 goes into 45, 15 goes into 30, and 15 goes into 75. So I'm going to take out the 15. Notice that I can't take out an X because there's not an X in all three of these terms. So all that we can take out is the 15. Again, what remains is what we have to multiply times 15 to get back to 45X squared, the other factor. One of the factors of 45X squared is 15. But 15 goes into 45 three times. And then we have our X squared that needs to be included. Now, how many times does 15 go into negative 30? Or what is negative 30X divided by 15? Well, 30 divided by 15 is 2, but this is a negative, so it would be minus 2 minus 2, and then we have our x. So 15 times negative 2x is negative 30x. Then we have our 75. How many times does 15 go into 75? And 15 goes into 75 five times. So we would write plus 5. And if you went back and multiplied 15 times 3x squared, you'd get 45x squared. 15 times negative 2x would give you negative 30x. And 15 times 5 gives you 75. So this is the final simplified answer.